First and foremost, I'm a, I'm a very proud black Australian. Um, and throughout my basketball journey, I've found how important it is for me to, to be a role model for, for Indigenous Australians, and particularly um, young Indigenous Australians. Um, you know, but I've been over here now with the Spurs for the seven seasons um, and for me to be in this community I've also seen how important it is for me to be a role model for, for these kids, you know, for black, Hispanics and, and minorities throughout this San Antonio community. It's something that um, I take a lot of pride in, um, you know, and, and, and something that I enjoy doing. So for, for me to be here today and um, have the opportunity to, um, you know, teach my culture and educate my culture, um, through this way and, and for them uh, to see the you know the, the kids and, and the boys um, how much excitement they have learning and obviously doing a dance um, it's it's pretty special for me to see and um, and, and as I said I'm, I'm very proud to do so it's always a, a learning lesson I guess and um, you know you always take the take the high road and, and the positive side of things and um, look, last night's incident, you know, is, is something that's not new to me. Um, you know, I've, I've ignored a lot of stuff growing up as, a, as an Indigenous Australian and, and over here in, in the NBA as well. But look, last night's incident was, um, you know, just a, a, a mere example of, um, you know, stuff that still exists in, in, in sports today. Um, you know, I, I think it's fair to say that I've been called a lot worse. Um, but like I said, it, it was, you know, a small example to, to shine a little bit of light on, on the fact that, you know, racism still does exist um, in sports today. Um, and that, you know, we as a whole, um, you know, can do a lot more to be able to be in a situation like today and, and help educate kids um, to be able to be you know, proud of who they are and where they come from um, and, and have the um, feeling inside to be able to express all of that. Uh, an overwhelming amount of, of support. Um, look, like, like I said, it, it, is a, it is a mere example of a, of a, you know, a bigger picture of, of, you know, what we're trying to do outside of basketball. Um, you know, and for me, it's being able to, you know, educate kids to understand how to um, properly um, handle these types of situations, um, shine light on it, um, overcome it, take the high road, be proud of who you are, and and stand strong for who you are, and understand that the values you have as a as a person, as a family, and and as a culture is is something that comes before anything else. I can't say whether or not it's. You know, it's been happening more or not. Um, you know, I, I can say that it isn't the first time it's happened. I think the only difference um, in, in this incident is that um, it, it was caught on, on, on camera. But look, it, it's besides the point. The, you know, the, the real matter here is that, um, you know, it's, it's, it's a big picture thing of, of, of how, you know, younger kids of our generation and the next generation can grow up to be able to learn and, and understand the right way to handle these situations.